my name is Adnan Al Nourani. I'm the chairman uh, of the board of the private office of Sheikh Sakar bin Mohammed Al Qasimi and group of company, and the founder of the Future Innovation Summit. Thank you very much. Thank you for invitation, first of all. And uh, I would like to ask you the first question. United Arab Emirates is an amazing country, which is an example of sustainability and development. Please share with us what are the core values of the private office of His Highness. We established this company, a group of company of Sheikh Sakar bin Mohammed Al Qasimi, uh, under the leadership of his uh, of Sheikh Sakar bin Mohammed Al Qasimi, and uh, under my leadership as well. Uh, we we connect. 22 representative offices worldwide uh, and we have more than uh, uh, 80 plus companies under our umbrella and our organization we have we are expertise in all the projects and all the businesses that happening in gcc especially in united arab emirates and uh, we, we we have expert team that always they give a benefit to the all parties and make the business smoothy and great Thank you very much. And this year, it's a very special year for U United Arab Emirates of because of Expo, of course. And I would like to ask you, how did Expo 2020 change the world? Uh, today, Expo is the example of uh, United, of the, of, the, of the people and the countries. Today, uh, all the people around the, the world, they gather in Expo to, to share their knowledge, their ideas, their culture and one roof to, to, to make this uh, world a better uh, place and bright future. And uh, talking about the 50th, 50th anniversary of uh, United Arab Emirates, first of all, we would like to congratulate this amazing Thank country. You. And then also we would like to talk about what is that uh, magic key that united people and brought to the point there everything can be solved peacefully in dialogue we we completed our 15 years of uh, um, our unity and um, it was a great um, 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 day for us as well it was the second of december god bless our leaders today our uh, leaderships that it is a legacy that coming from grandfather to the father and the father to the son to make this country a great example for the rest of the world today i'm thankful to my leaders god bless them and give them a lo lot of success and happiness and blessing because really they they they, they, they really from the heart of bottom of the heart they they they, they, they think about uh, about us not only us about more than 113 nationalities that they are gathering in United Arab Emirates. Today, UAE, if the country of safety, uh, today uh, UAE is a country of equality and justice. UAE today is the world record. And uh, more to, to be coming that we want to, to show to the world that how we are strong and how we are smart and how from sand, 15 years from the sand, we create a strong civilization. Yes. Yes, and every, everyone who is visiting uh, United Arab Emirates noticed how clean, beautiful, safe is this country. And every three months people come back, they see a big change, new roads, new buildings, a lot of events, so many people coming to this country. And this is a place that it's very easy to communicate with people. And I would like to ask you, what is on your opinion that what unites all of us, what unites all people despite nationalities, despite different religions. Before, before I answer to your question, there is something I want to add, that why our country is successing. Of course, there is one, one, uh, one hand for our leadership, thanks to our leadership. The second hand, we don't have corruption. We, our leader always, they, they think about everyone. We want always to be number one. And um, there is a lot of success on the way. And uh, regarding how we are uniting each other, as I told you with my previous answer, uh, UAE is the country that m more than 130 nationalities they are gathering to share their ideas, their culture, their knowledge in one roof. Um, today you see 
uh, in a lot of countries, there is the, 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 um, the issue that they face is the safetyness. Today, our country is the f in the top of the list of uh, the safetyest country to live, to, to make business. This is what I believe. Yes. Yes, and this is absolutely true. Also, the values which are um, very transparent and open. And then you come to the UAE, you understand that people here, they can talk, they can bring their knowledge, they can bring their potential. And um, we always like to bring to their interviews uh, examples which we can multiply globally. So take the very best what exists in the country and to multiply it globally. So always a big pleasure to interview leaders and people from United Arab Emirates because this is a practical example how we can change the world. And um, also talking about people, uh, society. Uh, we are used to believe that we belong to communities like families or countries, but uh, we are one nationality actually, we are humans. Yes. And in this world we need this unity. What can unite us? How is it possible? See, today if you want to, to talk about how the people can unite it, united each other, they need to be honest first of all, loyalty and uh, to create an atmosphere of love and care. There then you can find the United. Um, today, from my perspective, I don't have any races or any nationality or something. I consider all of us are normal human beings. Um, this is how our leadership, they, they, they teach us um, generation, generation, that we need to be humble. Today, as I told you, in, in UAE, there is a country of justice and equality. Nobody is above anyone. All of us, we consider as a normal human being, law is there, uh, leadership is there, business is there. We all consider as a one family that gathering in this lovely country. You know, uh, 12 years ago, I was seeing a TV. Um, I saw a country called uh, Japan and uh, so much beautiful, so much uh, uh, they are in advance in technology. I was thinking, I wish one day our country can be the same, but the dream, but the dream, the leadership, they make the dream true. Today I say hard luck to them and uh, uh, because we are now more advanced in technologies and business and education and healthcare and all the activities that uh, the, the lifestyle is required. Absolutely, and yeah. these technologies and uh, the results of researches, they start to serve people. And we people all together, we have responsibility, right? Because this is our planet and we can see what is happening today with our planet. The ecological situation shows that we were not very good householders. Yes. And um, of course now we are at the period and everybody can see with its own eyes that climatic changes are here and uh, how important is it today for us to bring forward these topics to start open dialogue and discussion between people and to start it from the point that this is our common responsibility see today if you want to be a responsible of uh, of each of us we need uh, to to think about the climate changing this is the first priority for all the humans that they live in this lovely planet. Because um, today it's, it's, it's nice and good that we care about our planets. Because this is creation of the God. Um, we need to, to, as much we need to save this planet. And I want to thank the leaders for their great um, achievement that uh, the climbing change um, um, they will host the climate change in the United Arab Emirates in 2023. It's it's big honor for us for the for the all the for the all the people that they live in United Arab Emirates, and for the leader exactly. If we continue this topic, uh, what is your opinion? Is it possible that we find solution for these big issues within one country or one community or one company? or, I don't know, one group of sci scientists, or we should really unite and find a global solution. 
see uh, today the challenges is high today after covid 19 hit the world it was uh, something changed the world 180 degree still um, we need to to think about the future because uh, the future we must make the future bright how we are we need to take care about our planet we need to make the future bright why I always say in my events, in my conferences, people talks about business, invest in business, uh, real estate, um, oil, and this. No, my advice to everyone: we need to invest in our generation, because the uh, the new generation they will lead the future. They will create the the most beautiful atmosphere in this world, and we need to unite each other. To unite each other, it's it's uh, it's not hard. It's easy, but some mentalities they don't want. Some mentalities they care. Some mentalities they don't care. This is how um, the um, the world circle itself. Yes. Yes, and as you mentioned, we care a lot about profit, about investment, which is of course important because there is economy. But uh, we understand already that there is something more important and something which can really unite us and something which can help us to find a solution. And today, uh, people from 180 countries all the world united and uh, they are implementing now the project Creative Society. Creative Society uh, is a society where human life is the biggest value. There, there is equality and equity, as you mentioned. There is education for each member of the society and responsibility of, of each member of the society towards the society and our thrive future. What do you think about this idea and uh, how you think will look the creative society? The society that everyone is happy. See, today to be a creative and to be caring and to be kind is very nice and beautiful. See, today our leadership and United Arab Emirates, they deal with all the human beings that they live in the planet as edge to edge. We don't deal with the people or the leadership or, the, or our nation with the people as a B2B or B2C. We deal with them as an edge to edge, human to human. That's why we are success. That's why we are example to some people that how they need to, to think about their country, how to build and um, how to, to make their, uh, uh, the population or the people happy. Um, there was a small example. I always uh, like it. I, I read it in some books, I think, that there was an old man that was um, giving a question to a young boy and uh, the young was telling to the young boy give me a question I will answer it and the young boy turn around and tell your, uh, your your hair is so much white and gray that you have more experience than me the question was from the young boy to the old man that where I can add a value to my achievement or I or I success in my current career the old man would smile simply answer be a normal human being, then you will find less competition and more success. We need to always remember this example. And you mentioned at the beginning about the importance of legacy, legacy between generations as well. So what are those core values which we should, which should make that uh, the, the basic, the pillars of that legacy? See, um, today technology is new challenges for the human beings. Today I see that the generation they receive for everything there is a bright and there is a dark side technology today have a bright side and have a dark side today i can see some of our generation in the world uh, let's say the, um, the the new generation they are going sometimes uh, so much they are connected to the social media to the phone and they don't give much time to the let's say to the uh, nature nature atmosphere you know, if you come back, uh, I'm sure that you, you you are from same. We are from from the same generation. When you come back to the past, by the way, it's good that people think a little bit about the past because they always uh, learn from their mistakes. 
when there was any any ceremony or any uh, occasion that the families need to gather 10 years ago in our country when i was going to my grandmother house um, all my family and relatives they were sitting without uh, phone or anything we were discussing about the lifestyle the stories that grandmother was talking to us uh, the achievements how the, um, the atmosphere was uh, cared and loved and uh, beyond to imagine we were so much happy and we were busy but nowadays when we go to our family or into any occasion we see unfortunately each of us uh, touching the phone and we we forget our uh, our past how we were happy this is the challenges that we need always to consider it to we need this is coming from the parents today the parents need to uh, to give more um, uh, advices to the to the to to to, to their children uh, to read books more um, to be with the nature everything have limit in this life with the electronic uh, and technology things and talking about the importance of education because we are talking about next generations okay. and all around the world then we ask people about the world they would like to live in they answer that what they would like to live in the world their education is available to every member of the society and people have equal opportunities to grow and to develop uh, what is your opinion on this topic and how our society will change if every member of the society will really have this possibility to have good education? We need to, um, as I told you, to educate ourselves with books. Because century, century, they were reading books and they were studying from their ancestor what is correct, what is wrong. Today, if you want to be speaking about education, Education is one of the tools of wisdom. Wisdom have a lot of tools. Some people say, no, blockchain is the future. Some people say NFT. Some people say, I don't know what. No. This all is tool of wisdom. To, to create a better life for the society. And uh, education is so much important. We need still to educate, to educate a lot of people, to educate, uh, to build more schools, more universities. I always thank uh, the, um, the teachers because the teachers, they, I consider them the, the, second, the, the, the second parents of the students. The first coming your, your father and mother to educate you. Then the second part will come the school to, to guide you. To the bright future and I'm thankful to our teachers all the teachers and the, and the, around the world God bless them whenever they are I always pray for them all of them really they deserve they they are the, um, the soldiers to educate the people thank you and I know that the topic of the next uh, future uh, summit will be about space yes can you tell us more about it it's about the space it will be about three topics, about uh, space, uh, sensibility and uh, technologies. We're talking about technologies. So as you mentioned uh, previously, technologies can drive people and people can drive technologies. So technologies are the tool and it depends how we use the technologies. Let's say that in today's world we really need a lot of great technologies to uh, solve the problems with climate change, this ecological situation, to bring good, good health care to people, good education to people. How can we explain it to all our scientists and to unite the scientific uh, community in order our society could thrive um, again we must not forget about our ancestors because as much we create technologies technologies cannot control us we control technologies because we create them and uh, to make um, a more uh, bright atmosphere I always uh, the scientists and the, 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 the professors they always tell us to make um, a green planet we must uh, use less papers, we must use uh, less um, bags, less uh, things that it can hurt the climate change. Thank you. And uh, 
as a member of uh, this society what what is your true wish how you would like to see our common bright future okay. and what would be your message to all people in the world my message is simple and humble i i want all of you to deal with each other as edge to edge thank you thank you for the amazing interview yeah. i really enjoyed it if people they look for soul now they want to see people they want to see people's souls it's, it's it's good when you are an interview that people feel your energy if you talk about media look at the volume of information destroying a human we need to bring different media we need to bring different inf information again to bring that values of family of respect of uh, thinking of wisdom of uh, like you know we need to shift in this mind as we say uh, also that we are also new type of media then uh, media talking about soul about people about love about things which are important to every everyone of course see I, i will be honest still we need we are as a human beings we are we still need to to learn more and where 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 we start to learn from our ancestors to see how many civilization by century it destroyed by itself what was the issue what was the mistake how was the success how some civilization they survive see um today i believe that if each of us give a time to itself it's very good time time is is very important because see today so many businessmen they travel worldwide each of us also i'm mistaken i'm sometimes i don't give my time to my family it's mistake it's good that people confess they're doing mistake um so many people around the world they 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 they, they forget the the children they forget the the wife they forget this but we need everything to make it limit because to make it limitation Today, okay, we, we, we come from earth and we go to the earth. Yeah, it's temporary. How much, how much you will struggle? How much you will do? You cannot, you, you cannot bring the time back when your child grow up and say, what, what you did for me? Yeah. Did you give me time? And 60% of the children worldwide or the new generation, they, they're going to wrong direction because we don't give time to them. Yeah, they feel lonely, abandoned. This is actually the main feeling of people abandoned. Of Nobody money, cares about me. Money, money is, is something that we needed to survive. Money is nothing in this world. It's not everything. Yeah, we can take, take it with us. You understand? Because um, I have a lot of people that they are rich, but at the end see their children, well, where is the future of their children? Or some, somebody, they are rich, but they have health issues. The four things is more important in the life, family, health, uh, um, uh, grand grandfather, and uh, the, um, uh, the um, reputation. Four things. You need always to put it in the mind. You know, people, the normal mindset of people is always to find someone to blame. This uh, leader is to, to be blamed, or I don't know, this, my life is wrong because of these people. But actually, this is the wrong format of the society, consumeristic format of the society that we forgot about. Everything what you mentioned today. Of course. And we run, we run for more, we run for money, we run for... We don't even know what are we running for, actually, and exactly. what are we losing on the way. See, each of you, each of you, I always say to my team, each of you have the key of success. But if we open it and we found the right moment, we will success. Absolutely. We don't need to struggle for success. We just need to act. Act. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Very important understandings and very wise understandings. And even, for example, then we meet people and we understand in many cases that lack of education is the key problem. Uh, which brings to violence. It's lack of education. Even, for example, then we were investigating deep in the topic of yes. refugees. So it's a very painful topic, but then people come See, to another country. The, vi the violence, not, not the, 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 the schools or the, um, the countries creating. The violence, it's coming about the leadership. Today, if your leadership is correct, there will not be violence, there will not, will not be, uh, 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 there will be safetyness, there will not be any crimes, any issues, any trading of humans, uh, any valuation of uh, uh, um, uh, women. Uh, you see, why my country 
is successing because the leadership they put four basic things safety and justice uh, unity and um, uh, a strong vision four things most put uh, again i told you it's coming from, from leadership from values yeah leadership yeah, yeah, the question is how to bring this leadership not like locally for one country or several countries but globally how i will tell you yes. From what I study from Sheikh uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid uh, uh, Al Maktoum, God bless him, corruption. Corruption, yes. When you kill, kill the corruption, then the country will come to survive and the country will come to stand on his feet to success. When you kill corruption, corruption, after the corruption is done, the second phase will come equity, justice. That today, no minister no any authority not anybody above anyone we are all in one level then the country will success my country they put the top priority education mm -hmm. yeah. this is our leadership education from education they did enter to business from business they enter to different different thing this is how we are as i told you we don't have corruption thanks to god we are the most safety uh, country and um, in the in the top list and um, I'm proud and consider all of you, this is your lovely country as well. This is more than 130 nationalities. The UAE is the country of uh, um, hope. UAE is the country of, um, uh, let's say, more um, uh, success. Um, a country of uh, giving opportunities. You understand? And I'm happy to see all of you here. Consider this is your country as well. Yeah. yeah. More than 10 years now living here in UAE. Good, good.